Mr. Chairman, dear colleagues, why did Cilia Tech develop a ciliosclerol interposition device? A CID aims at locally suppressing the main obstacle to uveoscleral outflow without entering the anterior chamber or creating some conjunctival filtration. Could that lower the IOP and decrease the need for meds? In such a concept, no endothelial threat would be present. So the SID is a six by four by 200 microns thick hydrophilic acrylic thick plate. Uh, plate. We have conducted two different studies in Erevan, thanks to Lilith Voscanion. Glaucoma surgery standalone. You can see the two groups. The main difference between the two groups is that group one is only one implant, and group two is two overlapped and sutured implants in order to have a higher interposition. As far as surgical technique, it's only two radial conjunctival cuts one, one millimeter point five millimeter scleral incision and 2.5. And you slip it in, you do not insert in it. You have OVD between the sclera and the ciliary body, and you see how easily Lilith Vascanian is putting this implant in place. Do you have two things to do after that? Ah, sorry, it will come push the implant to the iris root forward without entering the anterior chamber and suture. Uh, okay. Sorry, I, I have the video on and on. Oh, fine. Outcomes, six months and one year, at least 33% IOP lowering and a significant med-free patient, 89 at one year, are medication-free. On this picture on the right, a UBM picture made in Erevan, you can see the implant between the ciliary body and the sclera and the subcoroidal filtration. No additional surgery during the study, no gonioscopic change, SID remains in place, no visual acuity and visual feed loss. Who are we? Only two for the moment, located in Nancy. Next steps, we have started the study in Erevan. 44 patients, open and narrow angle, have been included with a very nice uh, results. Fundraising round planned this year, CMARC expected 2024 and FDA 2025. So we have a proof of concept. It is possible to lower the IOP without entering the anterior chamber. It's a simple and fast technique. The safety profile is very high. Patient's quality of life due to the decreased need for meds is highly improved. The medical economic ratio is very favorable. And finally, the goldfish will express our conclusion. Anterior chamber is just for aqueous. Thank you for your attention.